Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. Her. oh my no. neck! Oh! oh. It's your dude, Head of Miss Dragon, coming at you with another video. Today is gonna be something different. Well, in a way, it is still different. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Kung Fu. Versus. Capoeira. Woo! Haha. -ha. See, guys, one thing for sure. I love martial arts. Capoeira. I'm self taught. Kung Fu. The only Kung Fu I pretty much know is basically Long Chuan, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu, which explains the uh, part right there. Guys, put down below in the comments down below who you think will win and Pretty much tell me your experience with any of the martial arts styles just like this. By the way, for those of you who are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up later on on my channel. And by the way, I'll be setting up a Skillshare's account where you guys can learn some fitness moves that I you, that I pretty much incorporate into my workout. I love to mix things up a bit, but don't worry. I like to teach you guys how to do that one-handed push-up. I can teach you guys how to pretty much get it better with your flexibility so you can do those high kicks. Like that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and carry on with the rest of the video, shall we? Which begins right about... Should I do this capoeira style or should I do this kung fu style? You guys think it's your time, I'm gonna go ahead and do a capoeira style. Now! Oh, hey! Why is that the rhythm? Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. I think this dude is representing uh, Kung Fu. Yep, Kung Fu. He did both the Mantis style, Kung Fu. So you know the frame Mantis style? You know? Alright, so he's representing Kung Fu. Now, who's representing Capoeira? Him, okay. Oh yeah, Capoeira, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm going below the TV. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright guys, I can feel like this is going to be a great fight. So put down in the comments down below which one you guys think will win and who you think should win. I'm going to say... Dang, it's hard to decide because I train in both styles. I'm going for Capoeira this time. Brazil! Let's get it, okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Now, maybe we'll keep saying, like, for Capoeira, you. Oh, yeah, this dude's an MMA fighter. I recognize him. Yeah. Okay, what up? Okay. I lost my train of thought, but okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! 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 My neck. oh, oh. Dang! Holy <laughs> crap, we got him in there. Pow! Pow! Oh, no way. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, slow motion, please. He almost got him. If he was an inch close, that would have been it. And I seen one fight where he did lose. Oh, who guys like? Oh, 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 oh we straight for Gabuera to Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, he's hammer fisting him. Oh, snap. This is going to go crazy, guys. We're already starting this whole fight off with an awesome banger. This is awesome. Okay. Now, people are saying, like, with Capoeira, they, they, most people don't want to consider Capoeira fighting. I mean, they, they say they see somebody doing this, they will pretty much dance with them. But I dare you guys to fight a Capoeira dude that does this. Especially this dude. I know this dude. I, don't, I can't remember his name, but I know this dude is like, he's Capoeira. Um, a practitioner. 
Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, he pushed him out too. <laughs> All he did was like, move off my freaking map, mother truck. Mother truck, get off my map. You good? Yeah, okay, we're good? All right. All right, okay. Come on, I want to see some style here. Okay, okay. I wonder what style is this dude doing? The, the dude in the blue gear who represents Kung Fu. What style of Kung Fu? Oh, snap. Dang, he is cop. He's holding him down, too. He said, told you. He's an MMA fighter, too. This dude is like, oh, is it? Is it? That's it. That's it. That's it. There we go. Hey. Hey. Ah, oh yeah! Woo! Ha ha ha! Yes! So thank you. Okay. Now, I gotta admit, I should have known he was gonna win. Cause one day for sure. Oh snap! X -Men, X <laughs> okay, okay. Oh snap! I would do that 540 kick in here, but there's a fan up. I really can't. I did the best I can, as best as I can, repeatedly. But yes! Yes! Now, keep in mind, guys, uh, when it comes to... Well, I know this dude is an MMA fighter. So, one thing for sure, um... This dude is, um... He's an MMA fighter, so obviously he incorporated MMA into his fighting in this video. While the cat... Well, while the Kung Fu dude, he pretty much was pretty much taking it almost old school, pretty much, you know. And I'm not saying he wasn't a best fighter. I'm just saying, like, um, he was pretty much out of the league with this one. Because in MMA, you already know, if you're on the ground, we're not... In MMA, if you're on the ground, you're not going to, like, we're not going to let you stay there and, you know. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, he's down. Okay, wait for him to get back up. No! MMA, come on! You're on the ground! Straight up, we're going to straight up jump you. That's it. Like, boom, 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 boom. Like, he was, he was holding him down and still wailing on him. That dude was bringing in a different style into this fight. Not hating on it, but still. Um, the Kung Fu dude, he only had that one good hit. That was pretty much it. Yeah, that round two. <laughs> I'm not going to hate. Uh, I really did enjoy this video. Actually, out of all the videos I have uh, like seen so far, this one really does take the cake because I was really wondering well, who will win against Cavalier versus Kung Fu. I wish it had been like in the further more details of the Kung Fu guy so I at least know what style he was doing. Because I don't know, because Kung Fu is pretty much in all in general is a style. But if you really want to go down to nitty gritty, nitty gritty, like for instance the details, like let's say if I was representing Kung Fu, I would pretty much put down what style of Kung Fu I'm putting in. Like for if I was doing Northern Shaolin Kung Fu, which most people would most definitely picture that as firebending. You know, and you see Zuko there. Some people will most definitely would think for a Northern Shaolin practitioner, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu practitioner, they would pretty much uh, would have put it up there instead of saying just Kung Fu. I mean, sure it's Kung Fu, but it's not like, you know, um, the all in general name. I mean, the, the style I am a practitioner in is, um, is Northern Shaolin Kung Fu or Ba Gua Zhang or any other like Long Fist Kung Fu or maybe just Tiger style. It depends on how I feel. Or which style that I actually am partitioning in, or which style I actually feel more comfortable in. And then I can actually put it up there, because I really would like to know what style the Kung Fu dude was really using. Anyway, let's carry on to the rest of the video, shall we? Bye, Thank you, YouTube viewers, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up later on my channel. Of course, if you guys want to help support this channel even more, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. Go to my merch. Go ahead and purchase the shirts. Oh, my pillow. Where's my pillow? Bilo Fox Dragon Hybrid. Go ahead and purchase the pillow. Yeah. The masks. If you have already haven't got your vaccinations, God, the vaccinations, guys. I will not lie to you. I was going through crap when it came to vaccinations. Oh my gosh, this problem. I had a hard time. Luckily, I I was able to take it. Cra crazy thing. I took it two days before my tournament came up. Luckily, the the day the tournament came up, I was feeling a whole lot better. So I did it. Like the, the medals came from that tournament. Yes, and now I'm qualified for nationals. I am so stoked for that. It's at the end of next month. So I'll let you guys know about that. I might do a vlog video on that. Most we'll definitely keep you guys updated. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for helping me out on my YouTube journey as a martial artist. 
And of course, spread positivity, guys. We're spreading positivity. We're not bringing anybody down. I mean, I may have some different ideas and opinions on martial arts. Some others might have others. But that doesn't mean you guys got to talk bad about how I think I do things or how somebody else do things. All we know is we all have our own ways of doing things. We're all different people. So let's go ahead and accept that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Paint the sky.